and he's Etz. Welcome back to Bad Tree Productions. Boy, that was a fun time. We're at swap meet the other day. Got some new marker lights. Pretty jazzed. But on today's episode, we're going to show you how to change your manual 9-inch drum brakes in your 12-second streetcar. Yeah, still rocking those things. This car has about 52,000 miles on it. I am guaranteeing you those brakes are original. Uh, we're also going to repack the wheel bearings and put a new uh, wheel seal in it. I noticed I had a little bit of a bearing wobble. Um, so, well, might as well, we're tearing them off. Let's do everything. We got parts already, and we got to take them over and get them turned also later once we get them off. So, all right, we'll just dive right into it, huh? Okay. Ugh. I know Uncle Tony did a drum brake video. I'm not that good by any means. But I've been dinking with them for a while. Owned quite a few old pickups. Had to redo one ton brakes and the whatnot. I forgot rags. This might get messy. I forgot something to put all this shit in too. Oh boy. This is a factory all drum brake car. And I intend to keep it that way as long as I can because drum brakes offer less rolling resistance than disc brakes. That is some nasty stuff there. Yeah. Oh. Boy, oh boy. Uh, hmm. That makes me think about life choices. Let's just uh, get a Comparo. Yeah, they're, I would say, half anyways. Good as time as any. I shouldn't have changed the wheel cylinders. The rubber feels really good. There's no leaks. I did get a spring kit, but it does not come with like the slack adjuster, the, that's cute. It's not supposed to do that. The cable, but it comes with like your nails, your springs, and your upper and lowers. So, let's take this apart and we'll do a little cleanup. Oh gosh, let's wipe that off right now. Should grab a screwdriver too. There are vice grips. So we get that. One. I 
that spring off of there. Two. Time. Okay, these little push rods here, they I've had experience they can get rusty and then they'll chew up the rubber, get dirt in there, and then they will take out the seal in the slave cylinder. These look really good. Not on camera, but they do. So get this wipe down again and we'll spray it off with the air hose and get an idea of what it looks like this here is your seal surface think of it like an old trailer tire I guess inner and outer bearing seal on the end dust cap more or less okay a little air time Oh, holy. Definitely know what's best is there. Good Lord. And as luck would have it, I'm down to my last half can of brake clean. Go figure. Oh, these things are heavy. Another trick I've always done, no matter how many times I do it, is I do one side at a time. You can always go look at the other side, right? Uh, we'll be taking these apart, clean the threads, and just the tiniest amount of grease in them. They all spin really good, though. I mean, it's pretty amazing, 1973 stuff. And it's just kind of dirty. So, let's go through that crap later. I didn't notice anything wrong with the brakes themselves. Um, they they work as good as they can. It's a manual system, so I mean, the harder you push, the more brakes you have. Um, it will lock them up, but I mean, it's not. They're they're not spongy or they weren't making any noise. All right, new tool time. I bought this a while back. I have yet to use it. Let's get her open. Just like laying a fish. Gotta be careful, all these packages are just as sharp as the knife you're opening it with sometimes. Harbor Freight, it was on sale. So, what are you doing? You just well, Robert, your father's brother. Cool. Let's open up a uh, new seal and see if it's the same. All right, I'm game, cool. Uh, there you go, techies. Boy, this thing's cool. Not shit everywhere. Okay, put it somewhere we never find it, right there.
Boy. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't smell like gross. Looks like there's no water in it, no rust or nothing. It's just, I don't know, maybe the old boy I got this car from, it was his mother's car since new. And he was an old Vietnam vet. So, yeah, a little rusty, not too bad. So anyways, he was a hell of a mechanic. He's gone now, but he was a hell of a mechanic. And uh, I believe maybe he told me he redid the bearings. I don't remember. Maybe. So what we'll do for the boys at O'Reilly's is we'll get most of the shit out of here for them. And then run these over. Oh, and the other drums looked, the other shoes on the other side looked just as war as the other, so they're even. Made in Canada. Here. Max diameter 10.090. Okay, so I'll get this schmoo out of here. And uh, we'll go over to the park store, see the guys. Holy shit. Nikes, I'm making a mess. Look at that. I'm just getting it everywhere. Not, oh, jeez. Did it again. Oh, man. Okay. We're trying our best here. Good Lord. to the park store we go. Oops, I got the camera. <laughs> Better grab something to drink first, huh? After the uh, little escapade down in the gill, this truck is running identically the same. This magnet is sticking everything. Traffic jam. There's three of them. And they all go slow enough and they're spaced perfectly where if I were to pull out, it would be kind of, kind of a dick move, but O'Reilly's was packed. I just went in the back door, dropped him off, yelled at Colton, told him to hurry up. Not really. On our way home, we'll get the uh, bearings cleaned and the shoes and springs back on. And uh, we'll be ready for uh, when they get done. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. It'll be fine. 
or the wrong brakes. Of course I did. So, uh, get the bearings cleaned up. I guess I'll pack those and put the rear one in and tap the seal in and wait till tomorrow. How about that? Okay, so this is my little peanut container what have you yeah I know there's you can do it the old the old other way but I do it this way because I have this thing it's probably plenty I think I've seen it squishing out I'd say that's greased. It's going in there just like, well, not quite like that. Maybe like that. The seals are right, though. I did check that, remember? But the... I ordered... I did it, not the parts store, but... I ordered nine inch brakes for I just had that on my head that they are but they're not so actually I've got even way more stopping power than I thought before because these are 10 inch brakes all right then we'll grease the outer Grease the outer and we'll we'll set that and then we'll just set the we'll set the dust cap on it and put it under the car. Alright, wash, rinse and repeat. Um, stay tuned I guess. Tomorrow, or well, for me. And then I'll show you how to put these shoes back on, the little spring kit and everything. And uh, yeah, then we'll go off for a rip. All right, while well, we're back again, who'd have thought that a 73 manual braked Dodge Dart would have 10 inch brakes up front? Ooh, got all the stopping power now. Um, Got the new parts ordered and now we will assemble so what i'm going to do is just start swapping over the slack adjuster cable thing and then the thing and uh put them together i guess to kind of show you what i do there goes the garbage man so yeah we'll kind of get set up and i'll show you the way i do it, it might not be right but it's always worked for me. So, got two shoes out of the box. And there is a length difference in how far the friction material comes down. And the big one goes to the back. Because here's the old big one. And it's the same. hardware kit imagine that comes with the new stuff I did get a spring kit too let's see it does not and they look different. Damn it. 
They're going to reuse some of these springs from the old stuff. <sighs> All right, let's go smack that out of there. And I didn't lose it. Okay. Yeah. Neat. Looking at this again, I don't know literally what we're going to use out of here. Nothing seems to be the same. Maybe one thing is the same. So we got to reuse this. Yeah, this spring kit don't come with nothing. Fancy nails. I know if you're all screaming at me. I'm not an expert. I just play one on YouTube. I've been doing, I've done quite a few drum breaks, not millions, not thousands, but I've done a lot of them. I'm confident when I do them. Yes, they're more of a pain in the ass and a disc, but what do you do? Oh no, and it fell so far away. Come here. Shit. Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. Well, well, Arr. I swear when I get rich and famous, drum brakes on everything I own make people change them once a week come on good night there let's get a top spring on there we are this guy this guy Drive that one out. Doesn't come with the cable. 
or the thing or the spring or any of these but they're in good shape you're all right i believe you can get them just i didn't i don't know whatever all right i'm gonna put the drums back on tighten down the wheel bearings and then i'll see if i can reach around and tighten these. There's a little slot in the back. You can get on it with a brake tool or screwdriver, whatever we need. But yeah, we'll throw the drums on and do that. Okay, so we got the drum all loaded with new bearings and seals. Oi. I probably should click these way out, but I don't want to take it on and off a hundred times. So, I'm not gonna? Okay. I don't want to get grease everywhere, but I think I'm gonna. Alright, whatever. Oy. I've always set wheel bearings. Um, I guess I don't even know how to explain how I do it. Uh, I tighten them down, I turn them, and then I back them off a little, then I turn them. And you want them to be tight. I mean, they will loosen. Just, I guess it's a feel the way I do it. Um, I've done a lot of boat trailers and, uh, those have got to be the most abused bearings in the world. And I've never had a problem. And obviously you want to You want to check them periodically maybe every oil change um, when you got the car up in the air give it a wiggle this way the top in and out or the bottom in and out if you will and uh, that'll tell you and a lot of times they don't need grease or nothing you just Take the cap off and give them a tight. My new seal is squeaky. That's weird. Okay. Go to the other side and then we'll start running the slack out of these things. So there's a couple little slots here in the backing plate and you, uh, vapors. That's just old grease. And um, you can get in there and grab that star wheel with a screwgy, and down is adjustment out. So, yeah, I'm just going to spin it. And... Oh, I'm already. I think I'm already hearing it. Maybe the. Okay, I barely clicked it. These are new, though, so. And I'll just double check the other side, and then we'll go for a ride. Yeah, you just reach in there and. Click, click, click. Like so. It's not rocket surgery. I guess I got him. What? 
here, so I don't know. Slap everything back together and they said, well, we'll go for a rip. de la resistance. I just wish I had two more of those for the rears. But I don't. Feel the blood creeping up.
up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I'm the from the heathens something all right head back to O'Reilly sorry about that I had to go help the neighbor move some roof trusses we're almost there I've got anything done yet okay maybe we can look a little cooler on side two now that Oops, <laughs> now that we know what we're doing. Now that we know what we're doing. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>